Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Timon of Athens and we get to hear from the first and third strangers today because this whole play is about people who don't actually have names. Um, Timon, quick recap. Timon is very generous, so much so now that he's broke and now that his creditors have come asking for their money, he doesn't have it, so he's asking his friends for help. And these are the same friends that were over for a really lavish dinner in Act 1, Scene 2 of this play. So Timon is very good, like very good to these people. But he sent somebody first to Lucullus, and Lucullus said that no, he doesn't have any money to spare right now, and this is actually kind of Timon's own fault, so oh well. And Flaminius was very upset about that. And then he sent another one, he sent Servilius to talk to Lucius, to ask Lucius for some money. But before Servilius got there, Lucius was talking to these three strangers, who are, you know, people who are just like in the know. And they had heard that Timon was having money trouble and Lucius was like, oh, I, I don't believe that. And you know, if he, if he needed anything, I would help him. And that was terrible that Lucullus wouldn't give him any money. You know, he should have come to me because I would totally, if, if he needed help, I would give him help. But then Servilius shows up and says, we need help. And Lucius was like, um, no, I, I just spent a lot of money yesterday, so I don't have anything spare right now. I'm sorry, but please tell, please tell Timon that I, that I love him and think he's great. Okay, thanks, bye. And um, as, as Servilius is leaving, or shortly after he's left, Lucius sort of calls after him and he's like, you know, my best to you, take care. And then he turns back to the three strangers and he's like, yeah, you were right, Timon has no money. And this is gonna be a hard hole to, for him to dig himself out of because once, sort of along the lines of like, once you've declared bankruptcy, nobody's gonna lend you money anymore. And then he leaves and the first stranger is like, did you hear that? And the second stranger's like, um, yeah, obviously I did. And the first stranger says, why? This is the world's soul. And just of the same piece is every flatterer's sport. Who can call him his friend that dips in the same dish? For in my knowing, Timon has been this lord's father and kept his credit with his purse, supported his estate. Nay, Timon's money has paid his men their wages. He ne'er drinks, but Timon's silver treads upon his lip. And yet... <laughs> Oh, see the monstrousness of man. When he looks out in an ungrateful shape, he does deny him, in respect of his, what charitable men afford to beggars. Religion groans at it, for mine own part. I never tasted Timon in my life, nor came any of his bounties over me to pardon me for his friend. Yet I protest. For his right noble mind, illustrious virtue, and honorable carriage, had his necessity made use of me, I would have put my wealth into donation, and the best half should have returned to him. So much I love his heart. But I perceive men must learn now with pity to dispense, for policy sits above conscience. So the first stranger is repulsed <laughs> by what he has just witnessed. He's like, so this is, this is what men do now. And then he lists even more ways that Timon had been helping Lucius to the point where it sounds like Timon had been paying Lucius's servants or, you know, Lucius had been borrowing money from Timon and then paying his own staff, crew, whatever, with the money that he had gotten from Timon. And, and the first stranger thinks that this is kind of gross, as do the, does the third. And the first stranger finishes off by saying, you know, I never got anything from Timon. He never gave me anything. But he is such a kind and honorable man that had he asked me for help, I would have given him help. But the sad thing is people are now more interested in their own self-preservation than in helping their friends and that's a very sad state of affairs.
And that's how we end Act 3, Scene 2. Huzzah! Act 3, Scene 2. And Act 3, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, we've got, so we've seen, we've seen Tymon get denied twice now. There's still one more servant who's going to ask for help, and we're going to get to see how that goes tomorrow in Act 3, Scene 3. So I'll see you then for that. Mwah.